What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Codexual, and today we're going to be talking about what can somebody do with my IP address. So, yes, this is my actually IP address right here, and it shows what state I am, which is WI Wisconsin, and it shows my ISP, which is Comcast. So, what of it? I'm not afraid to show my IP address at all. If you're going to hit me offline, feel free to do it. You're not able to. And if you do do it, just know every connection that does come through my modem, I do log and I will send logs towards the proper authorities. So your choice, I really could care less. Um, and if you think that you can do more than that, I'm up for a challenge. I'm always up for a challenge. Okay, so let's talk about what can we do with an IP address. But before we begin, if you guys can do me one big happy favor is to subscribe to the channel, uh, hit that post notifications whenever I go live or upload a video, you'll be notified. If you ever have any questions, um, especially when I'm live streaming, please come through. If you ask me to do something illegal or how to do something illegal, it's not gonna happen. Get that out of your, get that out of your mind. I'm not gonna help you out with any illegal activity. Um, I also have a secondary channel, which is Code Actual Games. Be sure to subscribe on that. I do live stream on that as well and with twitch.tv. So feel free to ask me some questions, uh, make sure that they're legitimate and whatnot. And um, okay, so let's talk about what's, can somebody do with my IP address? So let's talk about the good and let's talk about the bad. So the good is, let's open up a command prompt here. And once upon a time, back in the early 1990s, um, we had nothing but, um, let me put that down. Back in the early 1990s, uh, we had nothing but IP addresses to memorize. So for example, how do you get to google.com? Well, you need an IP address. So let's bring up Google here. It's probably gonna give us an IPv6. Okay, so this is an IPv6. Um, we want an IPv4. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel out of that. There we go. Uh, ping IP chicken. I'm pretty sure. Okay, IPv4. This is an IPv4. So back in the early 1990s, we needed to connect with a IPv4 address. Domains weren't a thing. And what is a domain? It's basically like ipchicken.com or google.com or facebook.com. Those are domain names. Right, so we before then we needed the numbers and we needed to memorize the numbers. And when domains came out, it just made it easier for us to connect. Now, everybody and every business, every service, anybody that has the internet has an IP address. This is no news. So that is the legitimacy of an IP address of what it's used for is to connect towards each other, uh, to identify each other. So I could be running a gaming server, like, I don't know, Minecraft server, and you guys would need my IP address to connect. And that's how IP addressing works is just getting towards its destination. Now, um, that's the legitimacy of things, but what about malicious, uh, things? So, Let's say, for example, I am running a website and you're gonna be needing my IP address. So let's just say you obtain my, IP, okay, well, you, you've obtained my IP address. Um, let's just say with, with my IP address, since you have it now, um, okay. Here's where things are gonna get a little bit technical. And before I get into that, I just wanna let it be known that if you guys are too skeptical of when somebody has your IP and you keep getting booting offline or something worse is I do have videos of how to protect yourself, how to change your IP, how to connect to a VPN on a computer or um, PlayStation on an Xbox. Links will be in the description down below. So if you ever need to change your IP or get a VPN, um, I do have tutorials on that. I'll put it in the description, everything resourceful for you will be in the description. So always check that. Okay, so let's get into the bad and a little bit more technical stuff. So you have my IP address. I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, if I didn't had a Cisco um, modem slash router, uh, yeah, you'd probably be able to hit me off then, oh, well, all I'm going to do is just unplug my modem and plug it back in. Then my IP address will change. Big deal. So if I didn't have that, I would probably be easily hit off. So is that it? Is that 
what else anybody could do is just knock somebody offline. No, there's there's so much more. Now, this is main pe mainly people on the console gaming. All they know how to do is host boot. They don't know how to run exploits. They don't know how to take down a web server. So is that something that everybody in the Xbox PS4 community knows how to do? No, all they know how to do is, okay, I'm going to go to Google and type in IP stressor and hit somebody offline because they don't know actually how to root or AKA how to hack somebody. They don't. So let's just get that straight. If you find a host booter, just all you got to do is just change your IP. If they keep saying, you know, all I'm going to do is hit you offline and that's it, then why, why are you associating yourself with that jackass? All you got to do is reset your modem and your IP will change. Or again, links in the description to actually properly change your IP address if um, there's other methods and whatnot. So let's uh, talk about realistic hacking or um, rooting in that case. So the person has my IP address and what services am I running? Am I running a web server? Am I running a Minecraft server? Am I running some type of server? So what they need to do is have a program called Nmap and scan through the ports of my entire network and see what my ports are open. So on an Xbox port, it's a 3074 on a PS4 port. It's like it's in its 3000s. I'm not quite sure what the ps4 port is but um those are the gaming server ports with um like csgo counter-strike or gary's mod ports it's like 27015 or something like that i, I don't have a good memory so we want to scan through what ports are open and these are mainly ports of applications or ports of services so once you find that port is somebody needs to run an exploit. Now they either have a private exploit or a public exploit. So I'm gonna show you a public exploit site. So we're gonna to go to exploit DB. And again, this is just all public. So these are all exploits. So am I gonna be running a web application, uh, remote exploits, local and privileged escalation exploits, uh, denial of service and POC exploits? So we're gonna just keep it simple. We're gonna talk about web applications. We're gonna say I'm running a web server. Um, for example, if I was running, um, let's uh, go down the list here, find an easy application. Boom. Let's go to page number two. Okay. Uh, Word WordPress. Everybody runs WordPress. Um, and this is an SQL injection. So basically WordPress is a uh, web application that's running in PHP code and it does need my SQL uh, database to store all that information. So let's go ahead and check this out. Um, Okay, so this is the description. Okay, so this is the pathway. Um, and on my web application, let's just, on my web server, let's just say on my web server, it's nolog.com, because that's actually my website. And I'm actually running a, um, running a, uh, I have a brain fart. Brain fart. Sorry about that. Okay, so I am running the web application and I'm also using WordPress. So when somebody scans the IP and they scan for port 80, port 80 pops up as a web server and that's what it is, or port 8080, or even port 443, which is the SSL version of um, uh, web servers. So, okay, they, they now know that I'm running a web server. So they... So instead of a local host, it's going to be nolock.com and they run this pathway, um, the complete link here or URL, as you want to call it. They run that, then they will have um, submit query to execute and sleep for 10 seconds if clipped as authenticated as admin. So this right here will prompt as admin. So then they'll have admin of my site and they could be even using a program called SQL map and they can run this um, from a command line. So there's many ways how to root 
a box or root um, or hack a box. There, there's so many terminologies. So let's talk about routers. So TP link, uh, remote command execution. Oh man, that's bad. That's really, when, when was this published? I hope TP link had a, have a patch for that. If you have a TP link TLWA 850RE, if that's your model, you need to update your your, your modem or your router quick. So um, let's just say I that was my router, okay? Um, and <laughs> I feel bad, man, for anybody who has this uh, modem and uh, that has that specific modem. So right here is a script that can be imported into the... Um, that can be imported into the router. And it's gonna be scanning for the host, so... Host, where would you put the IP address? Okay, so it's looking, okay, so it's pulling the IP address, and right here is the login URL right here, and you're gonna be, what script is this? Python, okay, so you're gonna be using Python and you're gonna be running this script and it's gonna be attacking the target. So let's just say if I have the TP-Link router and um, I'm gonna be using Python on myself, this will be running a execution that will give the person complete command. So they can run a command line on my modem. And that's not good. They can change things up on my modem. So is it practical for somebody to know all of this? No, not really. But there's a good group of people who are knowledgeable with uh, computers and technology that are able to get into a modem. Anything's possible. Anything's hackable. It just depends on the knowledge of the person behind the keyboard. So not all modems have this patch. Um, patch this vulnerability so everything's different you want to check up on the site and just be informed all right um, and if something like this ever became public I'm pretty sure TP link found a patch for that and you just got to download the patch for your uh, modem router like again anything is hackable anything even a Tesla car that can be remote controlled I mean, I would not be surprised if a high profile target in fucking Middle East, uh, let's just say Osama bin Laden's alive for some fucking reason, and he's driving a Tesla, and the government's like, oh, hey, we can totally control that car. Let's drive Osama bin Laden straight into a fucking ditch and just watch him die. Yeah, anything is hackable, and I would not fuck with the government, man. The NSA, the, the NSA is always watching. <laughs> Don't don't mess with the government. Always always make sure that you keep your nose clean. But um yeah, anything's hackable. It just depends on the knowledge. Now, does your does um a little kid know how to do any of this shit? No. Does a teenager know how to do any of this shit? No. Um unless they really stuck their face into a computer. So, for all you gamers out there, you probably just can get hit offline and all you need to do is just reset your IP. This is something that's a little bit more on the um, stuff that would that could occur that I would just wanted to introduce to you guys. So I'm just letting you know, and I'm not trying to scare you guys, but the average user does not know shit of how to hack. All they know how to do is just how to host boot somebody offline. That's it. Alrighty. So um, if you guys want me to cover more upon how, what can somebody do with an IP address and whatnot. I'm just going to cut it here. I just want to just give you guys a brief overview of what things could be done and what, what practical things and just being realistic with you guys. Um, if there's anything that you wanted me to cover, I'll do it on the next video. Um, and whatnot. So I just hope you guys can do me that favor is to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. You all take care. Peace. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, running till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on, like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like a cake. As long as you can see me, I ain't.